it's very important that every South African citizen and every civil society organization unites and comes together as one against these terrible regulations which are reintroducing race quotas into South Africa and are going to re-entrench race as the primary driver of advancement or opportunity in the country. South Africa's constitution is clear. It says South Africa belongs to all who live in it, united in our diversity. What this legislation and these regulations want to do is to divide us by something as arbitrary as the color of our skin and to reduce us to decimal points in the country of our birth. This is not non-racialism. This is social engineering of the highest order, and it must be resisted, both through civil disobedience, but also through taking a firm line legally against it. The Democratic Alliance is at uh, advanced stages of filing a high court action against this. But we're calling on all South Africans, regardless of the color of your skin, to understand one thing. This act affects every single one of us. It's going to lead directly to a contraction of our economy. It's going to lead to less work opportunities and greater unemployment. We need to be growing our economy, and we can do that by working together, not by allowing a government to divide us. Please stand up, make your voice heard, and let's defeat these race laws together. Well, the big problem will be that it will be a divisive um, um, uh, law that is going to divide South Africans further. It's going to suppress the economy. We need a stronger competitive economy at the moment, given the challenges, challenges of, that we face of high unemployment rates, low growth levels, uh, dismal uh, performance of our state-owned enterprises. So this is not the law that we need. We need a law that will encourage business growth, that will ensure that it doesn't become expensive to comply with some laws as business, that it becomes easy to operate in South Africa's, in South Africa's market. So I am very much opposed to this, to this kind of law. I don't think it's what we need, uh, whether now or in the future. We need to move forward to the laws that encourage business growth. Here the Werkswinkel vandaag was uiterst noodzakelijk en dit moet die begin wees van een golf wat naar buiten beweeg. Zuid-Afrika kan niet een nieuwe apartheid bekostig nie. Die ANC regering het ek van die begin van die jaar vir die president gesê gaan baie duidelijk ras as die focuspunt in sy verkiesingsveld toch wil gebruik. Dit is nadelig vir Zuid-Afrika want Die ANC is bankrot om vir die kiesers te vertel dat hulle het werk geskep, dat hulle veiligheid geskep het, dat hulle ekonomie laat groei het. Daarom misbruik hulle nou ras as hulle focus punt. Hulle het voor 94 geveg om apartheid af te skaf. Nou stel hulle een nieuwe apartheid in met rechtstellende aksie en swart ekonomische bemachtigingswette. Dit gaan Suid-Afrika vernietig in termen van werk, en dit gaan die economie vernietig, en daarom moet ons handen vat en saamstaan. I'm here to support the initiative in terms of fighting the race-based uh, legislation. Um, I've had a long history with solidarity, um, fighting the employment equity legislation, because we didn't see it as addressing the advancement of um, the poorest of the poor, South Africans, um, and I say South Africans because um, I don't believe that we should be defined by race post-1994. Um, today, I think, is a culmination of that fight uh, and that we are moving in the right direction by employing civil society organizations to fight uh, race-based legislation. Um, I see it, uh, the new uh, amendment, I see it as a attempt by the African National Congress to redeploy their cadres to areas where they need to uh, make progress in terms of winning the next election. So as far as I'm concerned, um, this entire policy or the regulation is designed to, pro to promote the interests of the African National Congress. In terms of bringing stakeholders together, whether it be politics and business, and religion and various institutions coming together, vehemently pushing back against the apartheid laws, race laws, that government, in fact, the president has signed into law and the regulations of 18 sectors. There is actually 
has a detrimental effect in terms of job, job creation, opportunities, and especially for the colored people. Let me say that. I think it's critical to mention that, that in our communities across the country, you find gangs and gang violence and you find shootings happening perpetually and continually. I'm a pastor, so I bury people almost every week, picking up young people, shooting each other. And then you have the drugs and the drug trade and then they're fighting for territory and stuff like that. The social ills in terms of teenage pregnancies, the young children getting pregnant at the age of 12 and 13. So these things are exacerbated in terms of these laws and regulations that are being passed. It will actually drive our children and the next generations quite deeper into the abyss and into the fact that they will find themselves as nobodies. And that's the reason why myself as a leader in ACDP and Houting told it necessary that we raise our hands and stand up and say, not in our name, 